everybody, and welcome back to another game of Classic Fixed with Blizzards in one man's attempt to make sure he gets his settings right. Look at this, Africa. Got a lot of blizzards in here. Uh, which is going to make people tempted to go for South America much more. I don't know what yellow wants. I want what yellow doesn't want. I don't know. I did. I just don't know what you want. If I knew, I'd take the other thing. I want either Europe or Africa. I don't really mind. Okay, sure. White wants an alliance. I'm down. I'm on board. I'm just trying to figure out where to get a card. I might just add everybody here in Afghanistan and just kind of hedge, okay? I'm thinking, I want what, what yellow doesn't. So I'm just going to be chilling here for just a moment. And I don't really have a better place to get a card. So I'm just going to grab one here in China. Pass my turn. And then let's get to know what we're doing, who we're playing with, and see how this goes. Start me off with a wild card. Let's go. That's the way I like to start uh, my games off, okay? Green! This is Gumby, and green has a whole bunch scattered all through Asia here. So, ooh, maybe they're going to be going for Europe. Maybe they're going down. Come on, get tempted by Australia. It is a game of classic fixed, after all. World domination, expert AI if we get any, fixed balance dice, novice to grandmaster. We got alliances on, and we got somebody heading towards Australia. Who would have ever seen it coming? <laughs> He's going to fortify these guys down. And I uh, wonder, could be going anywhere. We will see. Yellow, Dada Spats. Uh, what does yellow want? This is very important to me. Because if they go here and they add everybody in and they want Europe, then maybe I can try to get Africa. That's, what I'm, that's where the head's at, okay? They want this. Beautiful. Bring your four up. Cool. Okay, actually, you know what? I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to be friends. Let's throw a few few friendship requests around. Master Cheese has the orange troops. Now, they might get seduced by this. They might also attempt to go for this. And I think when you have this blizzard and you have the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big thumbs up. Oh, he keeps the seven down. That's weird. Um, he When you have this one point South America play... A lot, of, a lot of people get tempted to go for it. It feels more attractive because it's more like an Australia. But the problem is the only place you can get cards in the inevitable future. Oh, I see. Oh, green. No, I hate you. <laughs> White. White added in here, didn't they? Oh, no. So white is going for this. Well, that's not good. But red is also going for this. Ah, okay, so we're, I think we're going to see green and red get into a, a battle here. So I think I can get out of white's way, but I'm probably stacking the Middle East, trapping white's four in here. So I'll be nice, but also, like, kind of not nice to white, if you know what I'm saying. Because I'm going here. And, oh, you thought your four was going to be able to easily go in? Psych! get trapped in there hey why don't you knock all of this garbage out and also your four is stuck get get owned general hard blast has red this is the one that uh we didn't see so uh if you are you know you're new to the channel and you haven't seen this before make sure you hard blast that subscribe button because I am trying to, like, you know, grow a little bit here. It would mean a lot. People say, like, hey, dude, you got to ask for subs a little bit earlier. It's just uh, you got to sneak it in. There's no good way, okay? Too busy watching the actual game myself trying to figure it out. Yo, yellow's my friend now. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can just, you know what? Let's just try to make friends with some, just everybody, you know? It's about time. I might not have a continent because it looks like white is actually going to be going for this. But, uh... Open to see what happens. So green actually maybe is going to turn this into a play for North America. This means that there's not actually going to be any fighting down here in Australia. But what is orange doing? Orange is playing a progressive game. <laughs> it's not progressive. Wait. Oh, he adds them in there to try to get them out. What is orange doing? Orange is, he's just messing with people. Orange is playing a progressive game or something. It has to be. They don't know. It's fixed. It's fixed, I swear. Let's see what white comes up with. Oh, white is also, it says fixed. It says fixed, right? Am I, do I know how to read? Do I know how to read? Why are people doing all this stuff? 
Mm. So White is trying to keep this position alive. They're trying to save their troops. They're trying, Yellow, please let me out, Yellow, please. We'll see if Yellow does it. It is in Yellow's best interest. Yo, <laughs> what if I leave like a four here? What if I just, what if I just completely am annoying to White? <laughs> I don't let Yellow out. I just obstruct by putting people in China. Yo, it's kind of a wild play though. Green is gonna blast through. All right, let me get out of Green's way actually, because I'm just kind of concerned Green is gonna blast me. So I am gonna double attack here. Yo, I'm gonna tri like, this is the noobest play I've ever done. I'm leaving those guys in China. That's my play. Green said thumbs up. <laughs> Green loved that play. I do a triple attack, but I'm blocking yellow in because that means white is stuck in here. And I'm trying to induce red or orange. I'm just trying to induce some some violence in Australia. I'm, I'm intentionally clogging up the works. And you know what? White might not like that, but this is in a weird way, a play for Africa. Because <laughs> if I can keep white boxed in and not able to get these troops back to Africa. Maybe I can get Africa. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of a wild thing. Yellow gets these guys out. Can't get these guys out. And orange is going to keep adding in. This is amazing. Orange is adding everywhere. <laughs> I'm just not going to let white get Africa for some weird reason. All right, as we're coming around to the trade with turns, nobody is particularly weak. Nobody has played too, too bad. Yo, and we got white to blast through a bigger number than they really wanted to. All right, now the next, they might, I don't think they're gonna go through an 11 though, right? Ooh. Somehow white is actually gonna be able to get Africa here. Nope, no, he got it. Oh, I didn't think that he got it. He wins the roll. Congratulations to them. Turn me in. Uh, let's see. Let's see how we want to do this. Like, I think I'm just going to Middle East stack for now. Yellow is potentially the weakest. One way I solve this problem is if yellow eventually dies. If yellow doesn't have a turn in, I can maybe kill them on the very next turn. But I, if green just goes in and then removes me and I'm not able to do this, the situation could be tough. But let me try to go here, stack in the Middle East. If green goes in, I hope he goes in hard. I need, I need this two to disappear if yellow doesn't have a trade in. You know what I'm saying? 17 goes here. I need it to also remove the two. Otherwise, I won't be able to kill yellow and take Europe. Orange wants to be my friend. I'm not entirely sure why. But I think green is just going to go in and stay. And then even if yellow ends up on four cards, I won't really be able to kill them. Okay. So yellow's turn. Do they have a trade-in? They do not. Oh. Okay, so they're hiding. They're hiding back there in Europe. Orange is continuing to contest Australia. Now take South America, which is, you know, is, it's, a, it's the real Australia on this map. But this Australia only goes directly into North America. So good luck to Green trying to get that. Orange has a lot of cards, but they're in a lot of different places. White continues to add to Africa. Okay. So I'm not able at this moment to kill anybody. When you don't have a continent, like one of the best ways to get out is to kill somebody and take their continents. And I had the early trade in, other people do not. But I'm just, there's just, I'm looking around, they're just, I'm not seeing I can't kill white, I can't kill yellow, can't kill green. Just can't, uh, just can't kill anybody. So I'm gonna just keep taking a card up here. I'm gonna knock yellow out. If yellow ends up on five cards, they're on my list. 
I got my big stack in the Middle East, trying to keep my options open. And it's, it's a really interesting situation. Because I'm not, it's not clear that I'm going to be getting a continent. It's not clear that I'll be able to make a kill. But if either yellow or white end up on five cards, I think I'll get, uh, I'll get into this game in a big major way. Takes out yellow, beautiful, I love that. Love to see it, love to see it. Okay, so yellow gets reduced to this one position. They have four cards, so there's like an 80% chance that they have a trade in here. So most likely, they, they don't, they don't. Yellow has five cards. If we can kill yellow, we can take Europe, all of their cards, get out of white's way, <laughs> and just live in peace and harmony. Orange gets a turn in. Orange can't kill red, I don't suspect. They are adding a lot into there. They are going to be contesting green. Green has five cards. They match what red has in Australia. This is not gonna work out well for orange because you're basically contesting green, but you're also fighting with red down here. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Does white have a turn in? No, white also ends on five cards. Huh. White is much harder for me to get to. I won't be able to kill white. Red has five cards. Oh, this is the setup you need to like run the board. I don't think I'm in position for it, but if you ever in classic fixed, if you ever want to take out everybody in one turn, you need everybody to like be fighting and then also end up on five cards. So the recipe is not there, but I think we take yellow here. Kind of close. <laughs> All right, so we take yellow out of the game. Wasn't a hundred percent roll, but we take it. Uh, Mongolia sounds fine to me. Um, now we're gonna end our turn with a lot of cards, so we do want to be pretty cautious here. White is turning in. Green's turning in. Don't think anybody is gonna actually bug me too much. Just wanna be cautious with where I decide to put my troops. We'll get these guys out of people's way. I think I should survive, you know? Maybe people are, maybe they're setting up to come get me, but we make a, a risky kill. But we wanted to make sure that we got a continent. So let's see what green comes up with. I think green is going to be focused on orange down here because if time just goes by there's going to be there's going to be some conflict here because orange is maybe going to need cards unless he somehow maintains this exterior and works peacefully with green which is possible orange does have enough of an exterior but green must be worried about them i don't think they'll attempt a psycho kill on me but they have you know they have some <laughs> some path they probably can't kill white or do anything. Long turn here. They're, they're not exactly sure what to do. They take Central America. So I don't, they're not counting on the four going out. They're going in. They're going in. Oh! So Orange loses South America. This is huge. Ah, he didn't have time. He didn't have time to fortify back up somewhere. So Orange can break if they want to. But we'll see what happens. So red has cards. So orange, you better be careful here, bro. Okay, he doesn't break green. He doesn't inst he doesn't break green and he doesn't get out of Australia. Okay, this is about to explode. People are about to go wild. White turns in and gets 10. White has a lot of troops. Uh, I'm assuming they actually could kill me here if they really if they really wanted to. Okay, no, but they're just going for Africa. Cool. Cool. Are they bringing the six out? They are. Okay, cool. Sweet. So I think we're really cool with white now. And the other, everybody else is going to get into to fights with each other. What is red going? Red's going for the kill. Red's, oh, he failed. Oh, good thing he rolled that one first. Oops. Oh, and he, he's just smashing. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go psycho here. 
orange and red. Orange and red, orange and red. It's, but most especially orange, okay? So we go for orange, but then... How are we gonna do? Iceland? Yo, what an amazing card. Uh, so we go, we go get orange, but we also take red. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we go here. First step, we go get orange. We're feeling cocky because we got so many troops, so we take a little bit of red out of there. We take orange. Here we go. Let's let's run this, baby. I run this city like I'm I'm Jay Z in in New York or something. Afghanistan, you're all Ukraine. You know what? Just keep that Ukraine stack bumping, okay? That's fine. Now we go. We go get some more cards. Let's go. Give me some. Give me Australia. I was always going for Australia. I was never not going for it. Okay, more than enough. We take Australia, okay? Now we get another trade in. Let's keep going. Let's keep the fun party start. Ah, kilted, get out. <laughs> um, so that's it then. Okay, so I got I got no more. My reign of terror has ended for now, but I'm I'm quite strong. I keep this I keep this stacked up. I trust White. White seems like a friendly kind of kind of fella. I go here. Okay, I get out of Green's way because I noticed that White is in here as well. I do want to prevent Green from getting North America, obviously, but I kind of trust that White is already in there. I'm making it look to Green like I'm cool. Maybe I'll be letting you take North America. I will not, <laughs> but we will see. I do not have a trade in after this, but I'm very strong. 56 total troops. I have Australia, and I don't think anybody is going to take it away. I think white is going to, or sorry, green is going to go up here. I think he's going to bring all of this out. It'll be interesting to see. Does he just try to protect South America, or is he going all the way in for a North America play? He Okay, so we actually got to be on watch for this guy. Okay, we got to be on watch. Because if he is actually going to go... Oh, no, we're backing out. Oh, but he hits green a couple times. He backs off of there. How do I want to play this? Yo, I'm going greed mode, okay? Okay, I'm aiming that guy this way. At green to, just to show full support to white which I think will prevent white from breaking me so white can obviously break me everywhere I'm trying to get white to agree that green is the enemy because they have the potential to take North America but also I did just take Ukraine I, I just took two continents super mega greed style green does not turn in so if he's a fool he opens me up here <laughs> So if he takes all of this, he does open me up. So he does not, but he ends on five cards. Does he open me? Does he open my stack? Uh-oh, you gonna take Greenland? All I got so far is ponies. Okay, you should not open Greenland if you have five cards. We'll see how white plays this. So currently my stack is still buried. But this is my grow turn. Let's see what white does. Like, it's a, it's quite real to break me somewhere. <laughs> I would not be that shocked if white tries to break Europe. Or takes Australia. Or at least hints that they want Australia. Because they can have a three and a two and life is fair. But let's see how they play this. I'm trying to put white in, like, a tough position where, like, are you actually going to let me grow this strong? Okay, green has... Green has cards. I'm strong. I can probably hold five cards. Probably, probably, probably. This is weird. I'm getting along so well, though, with... Uh... With white. Yo, I could get used to turns like this. 
So let me do one of these and then put this here. I'm just gonna... No, you know what? Let's get this four out. Okay, let's go here. So I just got like all these random threes and whatever. But if white's gonna let me hold, I wanna see what green does. He only turns in for six. So let's see if he opens me up. I'm trying to like, hey white, trust me, let's go after green. And using this friendship with white, it means white is gonna let me grow. It's the power of friendship. With friendship, it just, you're, everything just, it just grows. Come get me, open me up, bro. So now green might be too scared. I wonder if I should be nice and give this to white. But I, if he's gonna let me have Australia. He's just, he's not the type, he's a good neighbor. He's just not gonna break me, I don't suspect. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna activate my stack now. Oh, I think white's gonna hit, and is he just gonna fortify up here? He's gonna leave me alone. Cool. Cool, so we can, ah, okay. He's letting green come out. Okay. Your all looks great to me. <laughs> Take my territory if you need to. I wonder what they want me to attack. Oh, they want me to attack here, I think. Let's do one of these. Let's attack White's territory and then get out of the way. Uh, just leave a two there. Whatever, let's put that two here. Let's do that. Cool, so he says heart. So I'm letting, white might already be at the point. Oh, I meant to fortify this, my my stupid stack in. I'm dumb. Dang it, I, I need a super active stack. Why did, I, why did I waste my fortify on this stupid thing? But I think what's happening here is that gr white realizes that I'm just gonna grow here insanely out of control. And now this can go a couple different ways. Green here might attack me, which I think is, is a fairly reasonable thing for both people to play against me. Dang it, I wish I had my super huge stack here. But another way is that white might just go for a second fearing that I'm gonna grow out of control and they're not willing to hit me because whoever hits me, I might attack them first, right? So green attacks me. Maybe I attack them. Now I'm much stronger, dang it. If I have my stack out, I can actually kill green but I don't, I made a very big mistake with my fortify there. Shoot, <laughs> what a mistake. But let's see how this plays out. Okay, they bury their stack. Dang it, dang it. I need all my troops out. Okay, let's see what white does. They turn in, they get 10. They're gonna defend Africa. Are they gonna go for South America? I don't think so. I think white that we got pegged is just kind of, you know, just good neighbor. I might go full greed. Okay, he does go for South America. Cool, he takes out quite a lot of green. Oh, beautiful, what a wonderful thing, what a wonderful thing. Now if only my stack was active and I could kill green here, I'd win. <laughs> if only I wasn't, I wasn't so dumb, I would just win this game. Green has four cards, no, yuck. Um. This is a really tough turn. I'm gonna do something wild here that, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I'm just gonna take a bunch of territory off of white but not break them and not take North America. And then I'm gonna activate my stack so that I'm ready for the next turn. Okay. Cause I kind of see it as me versus both of these guys. It's a it's a kind of greedy turn. I'm just I'm just grabbing a whole bunch. Because it's almost me versus both these guys. If green has five, the game ends. If green has five cards, the game is over. The game could have been over had my stack already been over here or had I already had some connection. And white put their stack here, it's a very brilliant move. Because my huge stack would not be able to make the kill on green. So basically white displays a lot of knowledge with this move and they're showing that they were able to, to predict what I was about to do. Green does not take a card. 
That's wild. Okay. So green is worried that one of us is going to kill them and doesn't take a card. White defends South America. Sure. We both have five points now. You have South America and Africa. I have Europe. Neither one of us is breaking the other. I know I got a really stupid trade. <laughs> um... Mm-hmm. Shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this. I'm just gonna keep stacking here. I'll leave my nine here, cause whatever. I'm just gonna bring these guys in, okay? I'm just making a huge stack that's aimed at green and also at white. Uh, I want to make sure I have lines on everybody. I can't really kill White because there's he now has quite a lot of troops here. White is playing this very well. I am going to have to turn in, but I have Alaska, which I'm expecting to be able to keep. Does Green... No, Green is done. Okay. Let's ask White to attack Green. This could mean many things. This could mean you come down and do half the work and then I'll make the kill. It could mean a lot of things. Okay, they are going to send 10 in. No. Okay. I'm not saying that I want second. I want first. <laughs> That's not... Read my words a little bit clearer. So I can't kill green and then white. And I'm not going to go first. If I send a couple troops into green, they might... I don't know. They might just go a little bit psycho on me, okay? I'd hate to see it happen. Dang, this is really intense. <laughs> White is playing this really well, though, I must say. All right, let me just take a card here and go here, because I'm just looking for ways of destroying their game, and you know what? They're, they must be a strong chess player. They're using a lot of prophylaxis. Take a card, take a card, please. Dang it. Okay. So it's smart for white to not really do anything. I don't have a, like a good solid way of, of crushing white because <laughs> we're the only two players playing and green is just staying out of the way. But neither one of us should just kill green, at least not yet, but over like some period of time, it might be worth taking green out. They won't live forever. White and I can just keep taking cards. I am outproducing white. I'm waiting for the opportunity to just yoink this and then like full stack against them. I need white to take a card here. Then they would be, they'd make like a crucial blunder. So I have a big trade, but I'm not gonna do it yet. Um, will I ever be able to kill? White, I don't think so. Let's just keep taking cards here for just a second. White is gonna make it to the next trade. He wants me to attack white. Maybe if I move my stack, let's tell him to attack white. Oh, cool, maybe we can work with green. Yo, we can work with green. Oh, a plot twist. A plot twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then why why don't you take the kill? <laughs> and then why don't I win? Yo, that's the kind of twist that I didn't expect. So will white now attack green, which will ultimately ruin both of their games? He turns in for 10. He can kill for two cards and guarantee second place here. And he probably sh should. I don't know, maybe not. You can probably still play to win. Takes Australia. Okay, but he's not going to kill green. Huh. Doesn't kill green, huh? It's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Green stack is buried. Oh, that might be not enough. This might be too much. 
Thumbs down? I think it's a great play. You don't respect it for the great play that it is? I think this is the road to victory. Sorry, White, but Green came through here in the clutch. <gasps> oh, I failed! I failed! I didn't even, wasn't even paying attention to the clock. I wasn't even paying attention to the clock. Green can go nuts on me now if he wants. I didn't make the kill. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think it changes anything because his stack's not active. Uh, if he does break me, actually, it's weird. If he breaks me, I might, I might give White the win. So he shouldn't even break me, even in this position. Yo, it's it's not that big of a blunder. And White can't do anything, so you should not break me. You shouldn't break me. Thumbs down. Break alliance. Oh, he's offline. Shoot, I was gonna be like, Hart? Hey, Hart, I'm gonna actually give you it, but he's a bot now. Ah, so I am gonna just kill White and then try to fight Green. Shoot, I was gonna be like, yo, White, hang in there, buddy. Just don't take cards, just keep adding here. But White left, and because they left, I guess I go kill the other guy. And since you bought it out, I'll, I'll take White out now. This was my, my first intention, I'll be nice to Green. Ah, uh, this could have gone different ways. He should have broke Europe then, though, if he was trying to, like, you know, win the game. But, uh, well played to green. Here's how we do it. We hit this big stack first. We leave way too many because we're a baller. Probably only need, like, eight or something. But uh, we'll finish him off this way. Kind of a fun and interesting game. Good game. Well played. And a heart to green, who kind of set that up. Uh, it was a really, really tricky situation that we were in where it was hard to see how the tension was going to break with the third player. But Green made a good read in that I would be able to give them second place if they decided to go for this. And we were dealing with an intermediate expert, expert, intermediate expert. Holy cow, that's one of the strongest lobbies I've played in a while. And we got a really quick win. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that. No, don't hit the thumbs down button. Hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up the video. And I'll see you for the next one.